we are live. So, welcome to The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 1. And this episode is called The Marshal. So, spoilers. Let's see. Here we go. So, multiple people... <laughs> I'm going to try to, as far as I can tell, I can't remove that watermark. I'm going to try to sit so that it doesn't cover my mouth. Anyway, here we go. Multiple people have told me independently of one another that this season is even better than the first. Because the, you know, first season was very popular. There was a budget increase. And it really shows. So far, I definitely agree. Tons of atmosphere in the new place. We see Mando. Cool fight between those pig men from episode 6. I really love how the situation turned. Like, Mando and the guy are talking about the terms of giving information, but then he reveals it was a trap to catch Mando. Really great fight immediately after that. Like, it seems this is the kind of thing where it's... Uh, loading the water right? There we go. This is the kind of thing where you would think this is safe. There's not going to be, like, a shakedown. There's not going to be a fight. Because there's, like, dozens of people around. You know, nothing is going to happen. But then he, you know, he draws his gun, shoots one of the pig men. Mando has to fight the other pig men. You know, everybody runs because they don't want to get shot. So it's, it's really absolutely love it. So great. It's, yeah. I promise you will not die by my hand. That is a very interesting way to phrase that, it's, you know. I wasn't hugely surprised when he leaves him there for these creatures to kill. Absolutely badass. And because uh, of IG-11, now Mando is willing to let pit droids go over the ship. And the Marshal takes off the helmet, so we know for sure he's not a real Mandalorian. And then he confirmed that verbally. Timothy Oliphant, awesome. But that was a great, like, you know, the the barkeep says, you know, Mando shows up, says, have you seen any Mandalorians? And the barkeep's like, I, no comprende, you know, and the, the, and, and he's like, people who look like, you know, people who wear something like what I'm wearing. Oh, you mean like the marshal, you know, and, and like, immediately that sounds like, would a Mandalorian really become a marshal? And then he walks in, and it's like, okay, that armor really doesn't fit him. Also, pretty sure that's Boba Fett's armor. So, you know, and then, like, he takes off the helmet. So we know, okay, for sure, he's not a Mandalorian. He has not sworn the greed. Take it off. You'll still be a genius Playboy billionaire philanthropist. Great dragon. Really cool. I'm pretty sure I've seen at least one of those in one of the games, but yeah, very surprised to see it in live action. I'll blow it out of the sand using the skip ship from the sky. Yes, I know that's not verbatim. Not so fast. I have an explanation for why that won't work that holds up so nobody online should obsess over it. Mining collective. Cool story, bro. No, seriously, it's a good backstory. Power hates a vacuum. Not a huge fan of brooms either. Honestly, cleaning is just not something it's fond of. And the marshal guns them down wearing the Beskar armor, blows up their vehicle with the rocket and the jetpack. Awesome. And I really like, instead of speaking, it's, uh, instead of fighting the creatures, Mando speaks Tusken to them and works with the Tusken Raiders. Really glad to see them treated as intelligent beings. There's no such thing as an abandoned Sarlacc pit. There is if you eat the Sarlacc. Holy crap. I volunteered your village. Wow. And, you know, at first the marshal seems like he's good at selling this agreement to the townsfolk. And then he mentions the Tusken Raiders. But Mando does help sell that part. And they transport explosives to where the Crate Dragon is. Mando and the marshal are still on speeders. Never seen speeders go that slow. I feel like they, they are now honorary slowers. Great montage of them preparing the attack. And during the crit dragon only works temporarily, then it starts going back in. No, wait, you only have one shot, one opportunity. You can get everything you ever wanted. Capture it, don't let it slip. 
and the crate dragon pulls so hard several of the Tusken Raiders go flying into the air and it spits as it didn't know it was a rapper. Marshall and Mando fly over it. Wish me luck. And he attacked the jetpack the way Han Solo accidentally did in episode 6. I, I heard at least one, there was at least one of the reaction videos to this episode where they were like, oh, he Boba Fetted him. And Mando manages to kill the crate dragon. I just wanted him to victoriously shout, I have single handedly vanquished the beast. Is this what Ultron meant by tear them apart from the inside? Timura Morrison was watching from afar. I was wondering how many of these videos I was going to have to pretend I didn't know that Boba Fett was going to show up on this show in this season. And I ha I think... Let's see... Oh, right, I have that video. Right. The guy who set a trap for Mando at the start of the episode was apparently played by John Leguizamo. Very cool. At, at first, I couldn't really tell, but then, like... Some of what he said was very John like was on home. Excellent season opener. And I'm thinking that was probably Boba Fett kneeling in that early in, in a season one episode where we didn't get confirmation of who it was. I hope Baby Yoda fired his agent after this episode. All they have him do in this entire episode were reaction shots. Like just not a he he literally did nothing. He he if he hadn't been in the episode, he would have made the same Im amount of impact on the plot. Just yeah, I, I don't maybe maybe the person writing or directing this episode just didn't really think Baby Yoda was that compelling maybe. Anyway. Those were my notes for the episode. Really looking forward to to next week's episode or yeah. Even though it has it aired a while ago. It'll be first time for me, so catch you next time.